This is the Louvre, France's national museum. As visitor numbers continue to grow, the museum urgently needs expansion to meet increasing demand. Since we must expand, why not make use of this space and build a new building here? This new structure would serve as the museum's main entrance, connected to the original three wings by three glazed corridors. This would not only add exhibition space but also consolidates the previously scattered entrances into one, making visitor circulation much clearer and smoother. But this is a national historic monument. If you plonk a massive new building right on the central axis, it will completely block the palace facade and destroy the visual order. Why not put the new addition underground instead? Visitors would arrive, enter below ground, and then be distributed from there to the various wings. This would unify the entrance while preserving the original appearance of the palace above ground. Burying the expansion underground feels too understated, hardly befitting the grandeur of a national museum. If we build a more monumental entrance pavilion, we're back to the original problem of blocking the view. So we strictly follow the existing axis to determine the entrance location. Then, at that precise spot, we raise a volume to clearly mark the entrance. If the volume is too big, it will block the palace behind it. So we cut away the upper part, tapering it inward on all sides to form a pyramid. Wider at the base and narrower at the top. To make it even lighter, we use glass as the primary material. Finally, we surround it with a reflecting pool at ground level, and add a few triangular skylights that bring natural light deep into the underground lobby. Congratulations, you've just designed the Louvre Museum.